Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting challenges every day and today we have a really great challenge, we have 50 minus 40 divided by 2 and minus 6. On the first side this is very easy challenge, it looks like a pretty easy problem, but many of you are going to get this wrong and you'll probably be a little bit shocked, but don't panic, I'm going to fully explain you why you're probably going to get this wrong and how to avoid this particular mistake. Well, let me go ahead and tell you the problem we have, as I told before, 50 minus 40 divided by 2 and minus 6. And this is a very basic problem, we have basic subtraction, basic division, basic subtraction right here, so what is the answer? And we don't want to use our calculator right here, so right now I suggest you to pause the video, try to solve it by yourself, what do you think is a correct answer? But don't use your calculator, let's use our super brain in our head, and of course let's check our answers here in just one minute, it will be really interesting. So here is our challenge, here is our option. So one part of students solve this question like that, they say, okay, we have 50, we have minus 40, divided by 2 and minus 6. So here's our question and one part of students solve this question like that. They say okay from left to right we have 50 minus 40 we have 10, yeah we have 10, we have 10 divided by 2, we have right here division by 2 and minus 6, so right here once more from the left hand side we have 10 divided by 2 which is equal to 5 and we have 5 minus this 6, so we have equal to equal to minus 1, yeah, and we have this option A, and one part of students say that the correct answer is minus 1. But I want you to say that right here we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. So right here we have three signs, subtraction, division, and this subtraction, and obviously if we start from this division we have one answer, if we, have, if we start from another subtraction sign we have another answer, so it's very bad in math, so we can solve this question with two answers and we should know what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question let's look for example at this PNDMC order of operation, this is the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC and let's solve this question according to PMDMC and of course let's check with this answer minus one, maybe minus one is a correct answer but this is not a good solution in terms of math because we solve this chaotically, we solve this question wherever we want and right here we have our correct order of operation and let's solve this question according to this order. So we have 50, we have minus 40 divided by 2 and minus minus 6. So here's our question and let's go through the steps. First step according to PMDMC is parentheses. As you can see right here, first step parentheses. As for me I don't see any parentheses so we can easily skip this part, we don't have any parentheses so we just skip this part with parentheses. Exponents, next step, what about exponents, maybe squares, cubes right here, no I don't see any of those, we don't have any powers, we don't have any exponents and it's really good because we, for example if we have like 50 cube we should raise this and it's a long and complicated part but right here we don't have any exponent and parentheses, we don't have it and we just skip these first two steps. What is the next step? The next step is multiplication and division group, so one part of students forget about it and they start from multiplication, but multiplication and division in terms of PMDMC have the same priority, so we should find what is the first sign from left to right and of course we should find where do we have this multiplication and division signs. Let's look at it, so right here we have subtraction, we are not interested in this, right here we have division, yeah we are interested in this division, so we need this expression, and our last step is subtraction, so as you can see all the time we have subtraction and division, but division yeah, we have this division and division is before before subtraction all the time. So division and addition and subtraction group is our last step. So addition and subtraction is our last step, so we don't have any addition, we have subtraction part. And as you can see, we have all, all, of all of these steps, we have we don't have parentheses, exponents, uh, multiplication, but we have division and we have subtraction. So firstly you should divide at first, as you can see right here, this is our first step. And the second step is subtraction, this is the main thing you should understand that multiplication and division group is before addition and subtraction group, which is really important in terms of mass. So division at first, so we have 50 minus 40 divided by 2 equal to 20 and minus minus 6. So as you can see right now, completely different answer with this one, right here completely different solution, so we have 50 minus 20 minus 6 equal to equal to 24. And as you can see right here we don't have this option 24, we don't have this option and it's really interesting moment because a lot of students then, a lot of students goes back to this wrong answer, because minus 1 this is absolutely wrong answer in terms of math because right here we start subtraction then division which is very big mistake, we should divide at first and then subtract from left, from left to right, so forget about this option minus 1 which is absolutely wrong. In our case correct answer is 
maybe option C because this is our last hope. We have 4 factorial, which is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 and times 4, which is equal to 6 times 4. We have we have 24. Okay, so we have 24. And the correct answer according to our question is option option C. According to uh, our expression right here, the correct answer is 24. So I hope you understand my explanation. I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, you can easily subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.